Okay, I'm using three pens, two pens and a brush. One pen is filled with a brownish sepia ink and the other one is filled with sort of a grayish, dirty, inky water ink. It's this stuff that's left over from who knows what. And I'm going to try to make a bug that's very... Um, Cereal, is that the word I want? Or what? What's the word I want? Ethereal. We'll just leave it at that. This is a pen I bought on eBay. And it had a to deal with here. Two up, two down, whatever. Um, what happens when I don't plan ahead? Um, it had a Waterman accountant nib on it. And today I finally figured out what was wrong with the accountant nib. Why it was not making me smile. And it's because the tines were spread apart too much. And not only did the line they make not get fine enough, it also skipped because they didn't actually connect at the tip. And so I fixed that. And it's very strange that that sort of thing would have happened with an accountant nib because they're so stiff. So what I did was I put the nib that was in this pen, in the pen that this, that held this nib, we did a little switcheroo. And we have now a much happier combination. Both of them, both of the, both, both of the pens are now happier in their new homes. Now, this particular bug is not turning out as chaotic. Well, I don't want to say that. It's, it is chaotic. And what you do not see here, and you can thank your lucky stars, is you cannot see the and feel the sweat dribbling down my body. It's very humid here today, and I just did some sort of physical labor, though I can't remember what the hell it was, and consequently my body is producing sweat, which I didn't really want it to do right now. Uh, who knows what I just did with that thing. This nib is really quite fun. It's um, it's a slight stub, and what's fun about this is I I put I put this nib on the exact perfect pen because the engraving on here is Old English, and it has the serifs are done with a broad as if with a broad point, broad nib, but the vertical lines are, dot, are done with just little dots. So the drawing I'm making perfectly matches the engraving and the nib that I'm using. Now when I'm able to make a pen that is able to exist where all of the parts are in harmony and unison, it makes me smile. And it's something that really doesn't, would not make anyone else smile. No one else would, quote, get the joke or understand the value of it. But 
it'd say something like, what do you mean it matches the lettering on the pen? What are you talking about? And then I'd have to explain it, and then they'd say, yeah, but what are you talking about? Because they wouldn't understand my point of view, and nor should they necessarily. Nor should you, gentle viewer, understand what I'm talking about. But you're watching me. You know, I make these things, I put them up. I don't have to watch them ever again. Now, am I going to... Shall I screw up this drawing or what? <sighs> There's a little cat hair down here. I have a feeling is going to torment me later. As will Orca. Orca, are you going to torment me later? You're waiting for your... I don't know where the hell he is. Okay, my cunning plan was now to use this pen. And this one is a very similar to an accountant nib, and this was this was going to be the... See, what have I done? I've already splattered the ink. See what happened up there? What's happening down here? This is very, 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 very fine, and I'm I'll add splatters to make it look like I intended this. Yes, I suddenly was... Pierre Gustafson showed that he wanted to do stippling. I hate doing stippling. But I'm not done yet. Part of what I was hoping to do is now to go in with my brush and sort of have the tans and the grays of this pen and the slight bluish tints to all sort of go together in some sort of harmonious symphony of delightment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? See the symphony of delightment? Do you, do you see what's happening? Neither do I. I just may have screwed this up, but what the heck, we're just going to go zoom ahead as if I didn't screw it up. So the this water isn't clear, it's dirty. Just like my mind is dirty in a different way, but dirty nonetheless. Now you're saying, Pierre, why did you ruin this drawing? I know, I can hear you all the way from TV land over to me. I can hear you saying that. But, you know, it's only a few minutes of my life. It's only a piece of paper. It's not like this was the Battle of D-Day or anything. It wasn't, we didn't involve trauma in that way. Now, let's see what happens when we go into the body of the thing. I'm sort of, I'm kind of unsure of myself when I add ink wash or wash on top of ink drawing because I never see the point of doing it. It always seems to be like 
why do you need to do that if you if the drawing was good to begin with why are you now adding ink wash and I can see why you'd ask that in this particular case because I don't think I've made this any better by doing what I just did. But what I think I want to do now is go back with my pen now and add thick lines. sort of show you this is kind of what I was hoping to happen that kind of thing yeah right it didn't happen that kind of thing Oop, I'm using the wrong color I have to use it down here just so don't tell anyone they might think I didn't make a mistake okay this was meant to be this gray color figure out why this pen sort of spat at me with its little bits of stipple. It does happen sometimes and it usually means the nib isn't quite set right. But it also happens when the nib is perfectly fine. And you're just hitting snags of paper and it starts it going and then it... Peter Draws described it as subduction. No, he didn't. It was is is uh, plate tectonics, he was saying. Which I thought was a neat way to describe the vibrations, but I don't know if that's exactly how I describe them. I might just call it what it is, a mistake. You know, call it by its name. You screwed it up here. Oh yeah, that explains it. See, it's doing it again. Okay, now, well, this, looking at it upside down, I can see that this bug would fly around in circles because it's so off balance. Yeah, off balance.
this ink is a little bit of Park Waterman Black, Waterman Blue, Parker Blue. There's probably some Schaefer ink in here. And it's all mixed together with a bunch of water. Water from the Quabin Reservoir there. Right there in the central of Massachusetts there, Quabin. Quabbin Reservoir. My mouth is like almost on top of the telef the microphone here and you probably are hearing way more than you need to. Well, I don't know if this made any sense. And I may have to go in with another tone to see if I can maybe fix it. Maybe it needs a third color. If this was all one color, I bet it would look pretty nice. I betcha. Anyway, this is going to be part of my I have a little entomological collection in the art exhibit that's downstairs in the gallery. This is going to be one of nine drawings uh, in watercolor sort of things, nine inches by 12 inches that will be framed and put in a little three by three grid of nine total. And I sort of want it to look like a collection. They don't look they don't have to look like they came from the same planet necessarily, but I want them to sort of look like they are a collection. You know, so they don't have to be all the same, meaning one can be a watercolor, one can be a pen drawing. Oh well. You heard that, that sigh.